Welcome to our Zoom into a career series. And I am Kristen Wolf and I teach TechCom at Yelm High School. And today we have Lynn Critchfield, who is the executive director of the Yelm Chamber of Commerce with us. And she is going to share a little bit of information about her career. Um, please, any attendees, remember that this Zoom is recorded and will be posted for future viewing. Students, you can enter in any questions, um, but we may only get to address a few of them um, as time permits. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm so glad you're with us, Lynn. Um, first of all, welcome. Thank you for um, giving us some of your time today. Um, it's really nice to have someone from the community that's able to talk to students about kind of how they got started in their career. So if you could share with us um, just some information about your position and how you got your job, just a little bit about yourself. Yeah, thank you for inviting me into your virtual classroom today. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, like Mrs. Wolf said, I'm Lynn Critchfield. I'm the executive director of the Yelm Chamber of Commerce. Um, and in that role, <clears throat> I get to do a lot of really cool things um, that we're going to talk about a little bit. But I wanted to kind of touch base and just make sure that you um, that you knew what the chamber was and um, the cool things that that we do. Um, so the chamber is a membership based organization. Businesses choose to join. They pay yearly dues. And in turn, we help market the business. We share resources with them. Um, we host workshops and invite them to be a bigger part of our community. Um, <clears throat> Mrs. Wolf asked that I share something that, um, that you might not know about the Young Chamber and, and about my, my role. So, um, you know, there's, there's a lot that, that goes into it um, and a lot that you might not know. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions that I hear is that people uh, think that the chamber is part of the city and it's not. It's a whole different entity. We are a, a nonprofit, just like a lot of other organizations. Um, and we are, we're not funded at all by taxpayer dollars or um, by the city or by government at all. Um, and so that's kind of a little bit about the chamber. And I started with the chamber in 2014 and popped into my role in 2016. So I've been with the chamber in some capacity for um, almost six years and every day is a whole new adventure. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of this, of this community. Well, we are so glad you are. You're doing so much. Um, we see you out and about and on Facebook and that's really fun. Um, so I know businesses know that you are working in front of the scenes and behind the scenes for them. So that's really great. Um, can you share with us some important skills and training that you needed in order to be able to do your job? Yes. So some of the, the most important skill or training that I've picked up over the years um, that I use most often here in this role is um, time management and project management. And I know that Yelm High School offers a project management class. And when I was in school, in high school a hundred years ago, they did not. Um, if they had though, that would have been a great course for me to take. Um, I've seen some of the things that your project management classes get to do. And it's really, it's so involved. It's so closely ties in with what we do on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so if you're not enrolled in that, get enrolled. Um, Cause that's a, uh, that's a resource that you definitely sh could be utilizing. Um, some other, other skills that I've uh, picked up and have been really, really helpful. When I was in high school, I took a public speaking class. And at the time, it was not my favorite. Um, but looking back, I picked up so many great skills in that class that I get to use now every day. Um, so I, if I could go back to high school and take that class again, I probably would have paid more attention. So make a little note of that. Pay attention in your public speaking classes. 
Um, and also in your math classes, because that was another one that uh, was not a favorite and I didn't give it the attention it, it deserved. Um, so if I you know, had to go back, I would have probably apologized to my math teacher um, and uh, picked up those skills a little bit more. Well, yeah, that's interesting. Um, and I definitely, uh, I appreciate the plug for project management because <laughs> I, I happen to know the teacher. Okay. Um, so what do you recommend that students do now to prepare for employment? So some examples that were given were courses um, that you should, they should take, which you already offered some. After school activities, community service, maybe like first job recommendations. Okay, um, so right now to prepare for your future, um, I would focus on being involved in your community, um, getting to know the, the businesses and the people around you. Um, they're gonna be great resources for your first jobs, for references later, um, for ideas and mentorship when you're ready to pop into your career. Um, get involved in your F, your FBLA, your 4-H, your student government. Um, those are all things that I loved being involved when I was in, in high school and throughout college. Um, I did student government and FCCLA. Um, do, you, do you have that here? We have you know? FBLA, we have FFA, which does a lot of public, offers public speaking and other things like that. Um, we have DECA, which is mostly okay. just and running the Tornado Joe's, the little coffee shop that we've yeah. got. Um, we also have like Skills USA, which is more geared towards like auto. Um, and we've got our publishing, we've got Stagecraft, we've got um, Sports Med, we've got some other CTSOs, but we also have clubs on campus and we have ASB, which is our like student council, student government. Um, mm -hmm. And so they have students at at Yum High School have lots of opportunities to join clubs, CTSOs, or ASB. Yeah, it really, it sounds like there's something for everybody, um, which is super cool um, because it's not, you know, here we have the opportunity to, to go into anything that you want, um, where a lot of the smaller schools, you know, might not have that wide variety of, of courses and and clubs and organizations and after school things to to choose from. Um, I would definitely recommend getting involved in in those organizations. Um, play sports if you want to play sports. Um, kind of anything that's going to keep you involved and and get you get you moving, get you going, and and you know get ready for um, for your future. Um, I kind of talked about my public speaking class a little bit earlier and uh that again that's if you find an organization that does public speaking take it it's a lifesaver you will speak publicly for the rest of your life so might as well be good at it um and uh and yeah i would just you know find to find your passion and and go with it as long as you can yeah agreed agreed I think so many times kids are afraid to get involved in something, um, but once they do, a lot of kids like find their niche and yeah. are super successful. And I see that a lot with FBLA when kids first come in and they're kind of like wide eyed and like, what is this? And then they go to their first state competition and they're hooked. They want yeah. to be a part of it. They want to compete. They want to network and meet other students at other schools. And that's really cool. It's, it's fun to see them kind of go through their, um, high school in, in C, you know, in a CTSO. Um, so the next question is what advice, and you've already told us some things that you would do, but um, what advice would you give your high school self that might've better prepared you for your career? Um, so if I had to go back again, a hundred years ago and <laughs> give high school Lynn a little piece of advice, um, I would kind of, like I said before, your passions, find something that you're passionate with, but know that your passions can change. So stay flexible, you know, adapt, be willing to adapt and be willing to change. And, and you students are, you kind of have a really cool opportunity to practice this right now, because this is, this is not how you intended to be learning. And it's, it's really cool to see so many students just 
flip it and be super successful in this role role too. Um, so that's, you know, be, be flexible, be ready to adapt and change. Um, always look for ways to improve yourself. Your, your learning career is not going to stop at high school. It's not going to stop at when you walk across the stage at your college graduation. Um, you're going to want to continue improving yourself and learning more for the rest of your life. You know, don't stay stagnant. Um, take advantage of your opportunities. Never stop learning. Um, work hard and pay attention in math class. <laughs> That's going to be hard to hear for some of our kids. Um, I <laughs> loved math. Um, it was social studies and English that I wasn't so great at, but um, I, I've had to be better, especially after college. You know, you, you do so much writing. Um, yes. you, you do have to be, you have to be good at English. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, my last question and then we can go on and see if any of the students have questions. Um, but you get to do tons of fun stuff around Yelm. Um, and I'm sort of jealous in a way. Um, <laughs> share some of the things that you get to do, the people that you get to hang out with, the businesses that you get to go to. So um, some of the really cool things that I get to do with my, with my job um, we get to do ribbon cuttings. So I have the three foot long scissors that most of the time sit in the back seat of my car. And so I am always ready to, to celebrate a new business and cut that ribbon. Um, we, we get to throw parades and, and be involved with grand openings. And when new businesses come to town, we get to celebrate them. And, when businesses that have been here for a hundred years, like Tim's Pharmacy just celebrated their hundred year anniversary and we got to celebrate that. And um, it's so neat to see businesses be successful and thrive here in, in our community. And I love being a part of that. Um, I, get to, I get to travel all over Washington and see how other communities um, work with their businesses. And, and create a really neat network of, um, of chamber leaders. And, and we kind of, you know, we spit fire ideas off of each other. And, and sometimes we have the same idea that we just kind of meld for our own communities. Um, we have so many great summer events and I love being a part of those. Um, we just last year launched our barbecue rally and we had the most fun at that, you know, the live music and the, the smell of the barbecues in Yelm City Park all day was just such a, it's so cool to see this, the community come together and, um, and celebrate each other and, and just feel like that's, you know, that's your community. Um, so it's, if I had a favorite part of my job, it would be the people. Um, just getting to, to see everyone and, and celebrate them all the time. That's so cool. Well, I am going to see if we have any questions. We don't. Um, so do you want to share with us, um, anything that you didn't expect from your job? Maybe something that came as a surprise or something that, you've had to teach yourself since you've started? Yeah. Um, remember all the times that I said, pay attention in math class? <laughs> um, so one of the things that I never thought that I would, um, that I would be doing is managing the budget for, for, a, for an organization. Um, you know, seeing the, the profits and loss and the balance sheets and knowing how to read those reports, you know, knowing, okay, it's April. We are 30% done with the year, but 80% done with our budgeted expenditures. You know, where do we need to, to pull some numbers from? How do we fix this? Um, so that's something that I never, ever in any hundred years <laughs> expected that, um, that that would be something that I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but it's one of those things, you know, I said, be flexible, never stop learning. Um, and that's, that's what I had to do. Day one is, you know, come in and figure out how to, how to read those, 
uh, the balance sheets and accounting software and, and learn all that. So that was, yeah. a, that was a game changer. That sounds like that's um, a part of project management, being able to come in and see, okay, what do I need to know? Um, what are the resources that I need? Who do I need to network with to be able to get this stuff mm -hmm. done? It sounds like that they picked the perfect person for the job because you are really good at those things. Um, Thank you networking with people and getting out there and just creating this environment where people want to stay in Yelm and, um, you know, just like we said, like promote local business. Yeah. So I, I'm glad that it's you. Plus I just think you're super cool. Um, and so I'm going to put it out there. Are there any questions students might have, um, before we close it up? I'm going to give you guys a few minutes, or maybe not a few minutes, maybe a minute. A minute. Okay. I don't see any. So is there anything else you want to add before we close it out? Um, you know, I would just, again, I want to thank you for inviting me into your, your virtual classroom. Um, I'm always here if, if anyone you know, wants to learn more about my job or, or similar jobs, you know, we've got a big network here, so we can probably put you in, in touch with the right, the right people. Um, I'm just really grateful for this, for this community and for Yelm Community Schools. Um, you students are in really great hands, so. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today, Lynn. And um, we appreciate you sharing your experiences, um, giving some advice to students. Hopefully um, they take it, especially about the math class thing. And project management, <laughs> of course. Um, so thanks again for being with us today. And um, I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. I look forward to it. You guys have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.